Pittsburgh Steelers insider, Mark Caboli, said that he believes that cornerback Patrick Peterson might be a name to watch as the Pittsburgh Steelers go through training camp. This is what he said on 93.7 The Fan, quote, I think he could be. It all depends on what happens in training camp. See if Corey Trice can, can be able to play. See how Dante Jackson plays. See if anybody gets hurt. He's one of those guys where you can easily make the call and say, come on in here and we need you. But if you don't need him, then why grab him right now? I think that goes with a lot of those guys across the board. Those are guys who are not top of the priority list right now, but they may become pretty important here come late August. Patrick Peterson has been a name that everybody has tossed out, asked questions. Hey, can the Steelers resign him? Should they resign him? He was probably very close to the top of the list when or before Cam Sutton signed or re-signed with the Pittsburgh Steelers, he's still a free agent. There are a lot of names that are still a free agent on the cornerback market that you look at and say, mm, maybe the Steelers could consider them because they are a former All-Pro, former Pro Bowler. I mean, Stephon Gilmore is still floating around out there. Patrick Peterson still floating around out there. There's some big names out there. 35 years old. I don't know how quickly you're touching these names. This is my thing with Patrick Peterson. I think it makes sense, and I think if the Steelers want Patrick Peterson back, why not go get Patrick Peterson back? He'd clearly like to come back to the Pittsburgh Steelers, but he said before that if he's going to come back, he's not going to come, at, come back to be a backup. He wants to be a starter. That's where things get very interesting, and the conversation, I believe, starts. Is Very simply... If you're going to bring back Patrick Peterson, even at the end of August, so let's say that Corey Trice is still a developmental piece, that Darius Rush is still a developmental piece, and you're looking for a really strong backup in Patrick Peterson, it has to come with the conversation that Patrick Peterson could get passed up during the season, that you have to inform the veteran that Corey Trice and Darius Rush are not ready to be a cornerback three right now if that's the case to come August. That doesn't mean that they won't be ready to be a cornerback three by the end of the season. And if they are ready to be a cornerback three by the end of the season, Patrick Peterson is the name that takes a back seat because you're not going to halt development for guys who are ready. You could halt development for guys that are going to hurt your football team, and that could be Corey Trice and Darius Rush if neither of them are ready by the start of the season. But by the end of the year, where they go, how far they come – is going to be the conversation that you have to have with Patrick Peterson. Because quite frankly, unless he's out there five, six interceptions, he is a lockdown corner off the bench. You can't stop 34-year-old Patrick Peterson. There's no point in him maintaining any sort of role if you have somebody younger ready to step in. That's my argument. That's my only conversation that I think the Steelers need to have in this. It has nothing to do with, hey, Corey, hey, Darius, we're signing this guy. You're going to take a back seat. The conversation needs to be, hey, Pat, we're going to sign you. You're going to be our cornerback three. You're going to provide depth on the outside and the inside. The second that Corey Trice or Darius Rush or Beanie Bishop is ready to take on a bigger role is the second that you take a step backwards. I hope you're okay with that. If that's the conversation that is had with Pittsburgh and with Patrick Peterson, do you think that it works out? Do you think Pat P comes in here with an open mind like that? And do you think the Steelers have any shot of having that conversation and bringing a guy like Patrick Peterson back? Or does that close everything off? And it's all up to Patrick Peterson at this point, because if you look at the Steelers, you know, that's exactly the line of thinking that they have. Otherwise, they would have brought Pat Pete in. Before yeah. minicamp, they would have brought him in during OTAs and said, all right, we don't know if these guys are going to be ready. We want you here just in case. As of right now, it's it's these guys are in the Steelers eyes. These guys are ready until proven that they're not. And of course, the big thing is going to be in Latrobe when they put on pads. What does Corey Trice look like? What does Darius Rush look like whenever things start to get a little bit more serious, whenever practices start to get a little bit more intense? And, and that's going to be the determining factor. And once they do and if they look fine, they're. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if the Steelers still reached out to Pat Pete and said, hey, do you want to be the Miles Jack option? If, if yeah. something goes wrong or if these guys, you know, go a little bit further and they still need a little bit more seasoning, are you that Miles Jack option for us? Or, you know, nobody's holding you up from going somewhere else. So I think it's all in Pat Pete's court at this point in time, because I think the Steelers know what they have at the moment and they know where they stand. And that is with Patrick Peterson being a luxury item that they really don't need at the moment.
Yeah, I agree. I think Pat P can go anywhere. I think the market for a cornerback will heat up come August when teams realize that they need somebody here, need somebody there. That there are a lot of guys out there, and there there are names outside of Patrick Peterson. I mean, Akello Witherspoon's still sitting in the free agency market, and I'm sorry, but I'm a big Akello fan. Like I think that he deserves a shot somewhere. But that's where we are is guys are not going to get an opportunity until that opportunity presents itself later in training camp. Patrick Peterson will make the most sense for the Steelers if they need somebody. And I have to take a guess that they're going to. I mean, Corey Trice, we didn't get to see anything in team during OTAs and minicamp. Darius Rush looked good the first week of OTAs. He started to die off by the end of minicamp. They'll both get strong opportunities, but the Steelers don't have that solid number three behind Joey Porter Jr. and Dante Jackson. And they also don't have uh, an inside option behind Cam Sutton and Anthony Everett. Yeah, hopefully he turns into something, but he wasn't impressive during OTAs or minicamp. Beanie Bishop wasn't impressive during OTAs or minicamp. I look at it and say Patrick Peterson fills two roles because he could be versatile and play the inside and the outside. And if the Steelers look at him as that backup piece, it makes a lot of sense. And you're going to get him for cheap. I mean, in uh, come August, Patrick Peterson's not going for anything. He's just excited to play football again, rack up a, a million, two million bucks and come to the Pittsburgh Steelers. And at the same time, you get a very reliable cornerback three, which is what the Steelers want. If Patrick Peterson was their cornerback three last year and they had somebody else besides Levi Wallace opposite of Joey Porter Jr., that cornerback room would be phenomenal. And that's where they are now. And if you could help Corey Trice develop, that's the other part of Patrick Peterson, is if you could help Corey Trice and Darius Rush develop with a guy like that, that certainly helps. And, I mean, I remember talking to Darius Rush last year, the day after he showed up in Pittsburgh, and he was telling me that Patrick Peterson already was breaking down tape with them and staying late after practice. And that's who Pat P is. That being said, you have to be open-minded to the point where the Steelers want Darius Rush and Corey Trice to be those guys moving forward, and they have to give them opportunities at some point to toss themselves into the fire. It's just a matter of, you know, you're not going to risk having a bad defense or a missing piece to your secondary because you want guys to develop that might not develop. You're taking a shot in the dark there. That's where uh, it gets if iffy with Patrick Peterson. I think he's still on the table. I think Kaboli's timeline is spot on. End of middle to end of August is where I predict that that going down when they do make a move, if they do make a move and, you know, we'll see what happens from there.